after team of the week has officially been delayed now two hours we are finally getting the cards out at 3 30 p.m and we have the tall team of the week mike evans six foot five so basically another calvin johnson card in the game we have very good wide receivers the top three are obvious we have mike evans calvin johnson and now tyreek hill i kind of said that backwards and now mike evans but this card looks insane we're gonna try to get some good clips for you guys here today but if you guys enjoy gameplays like this i do top tens as well make sure that like and hit that subscribe i also stream on twitch every single day we were streaming and we're gonna record this gameplay live on twitch but yeah they delayed it two hours but Let's get into it, boys. If you are looking for cheap, fast Madden coins to build that God Squad you always wanted, head over to my sponsor, EasyMa, and use code CHU for 5% off your order. The link is in the description. Mike Evans. This might be the best Mike Evans card ever in Madden history. Like, honestly, it might be. 88 speed on Mike Evans, which is tied for the second fastest in the game. He has the same exact speed as Calvin Johnson. I'll take it every day. 6'5", 230 pounds. He does not hit the shore outrunning threshold, which is 85 even on all Madden, which kind of sucks. I mean, not even hitting the 85 is definitely tough, but he does have 90 medium route running and 88 uh, deep route running, which is going to be amazing for how we're going to use him here today. So I'm definitely excited for that. Ability wise, he doesn't really get anything crazy. I don't even think he gets slot apprentice. Nope. So uh, an ability that most wide receivers gets, he is not even touching that. You are going to get mid and elite, mid out elite, and then probably matchup nightmare. A lot of people might run, but that's all the, that's really usable on him. We're going to be using mid and elite. Probably wouldn't even be using any abilities on him normally. But for the gameplay purposes, we're definitely going to stack him up as much as we can. Let's go take Mike Evans into a game and hopefully dominate with the big fella. It is really tough. My top three, I really, I always talk about this. You guys probably heard me talk about this a million times. But I hate that I just can't show off the new card in the top three. Maybe that's for the better so people don't quit right away when they see good cards. But, you know, I want to showcase that brand new Mike Evans, you know. Looks like we're getting ball first, too. Let's get it, boys. All right. This guy is ratting us. Onside kick. No way he comes out in onside still. Although, I just showed that I'm ready for it. There's something wrong with a lot of these players. I mean, what are we doing? You're giving me literally great field position. Great chance to go ahead and score with Mike Evans. I mean, I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe not, boys. He almost got it right there. He almost got bailed out and got it. So only two people in Madden have tattoos every year. It's usually Odell and also Mike Evans. It's cool to always have him out there, but you can see we have him on the outside where that deep route running and that medium can take effect. And you guys could see right there already sketching up a wide open touchdown. We are celebrating, you know, he onsided on us, man. I love to start it off with a big play like that. Now I'm already feeling good. This one almost feels like it's over already, boys. Because I feel like if you onside kick, that means you have, you're showing that you have no trust in your defense at all. I feel like there's no reason to onside kick in this game, especially with how hard, or how easy it is to move the ball down the field. Let's see if maybe we can get Mike Evans an out route on this corner. Let's see right here. Can he fry? Ah, uh, really nothing much. I guess we can give him an ag chance. Yeah, I don't know. Two-point conversions are probably not the smartest plays in the world. All right, we're showing this guy no mercy on defense, man. That onside, you know, we wanted more yards with Mike Evans. He's kind of restricted us with that. It looks like we're going to be playing this game. You guys, I don't know what you want to call this scheme. The annoying scheme, I guess. It, it's pretty It's pretty good, though. It's annoying to play against. I think it's very aggravating, but you can get big plays like that every time. See, this is where it's going to be tough, too. It looks like he's going to flip it every single play as well. We got a hard flat out there. Obviously, it's manned up. Uh, okay. Looks like we're not going to be able to stop that at all. I don't know. I don't know. How do you guys stop that this year? There's got to be a way, right? It's officially flipped it every single play. I guess we're just using it. Whatever. I, I guess we'll just use it every single time. Let's see if he throws it. See, this is the problem is it opens up everything else, you know? I think this game, I'm, I'm feeling good, though. I, I On offense, we're going to score every single time. We just, we just got to get one stop. One stop, and this game is completely over against a player like this because running the ball like this, it does add up over time. Let's see. And, okay. Maybe, I don't know. We got to switch up something here. The, the typical way to guard is just hard fly and tell your corner to guard it. Like like this, just run a cover two and tell your guy to guard it. But as you guys know, it is much more difficult than that. Look, you can see, no matter what, you don't win the inside block. So, I don't know. I guess we're just going to have... Uh, Mike Evans might have 400 yards today. He legitimately might have 400 yards today because we're not going to get to start up on defense. There's absolutely no way. We're guessing run up the middle. Maybe that's what we got to do. Just guess run every single time and just make him throw it. I feel like once we stop this, he's absolutely cooked. There's absolutely no way this guy has any other offense than this. And... Uh, what did I just watch? You know what? I, I feel like this is the type of player to not be able to guard this play back to back, right? No, there's no way he allows us to throw the exact same touchdown to Mike Evans right here. Oh, he does. Oh, he does. I don't know if it's going to be a touchdown. He's going to drop it. He has a mid zone KO. Okay. We got to hardball that down a little bit. We got to wait a second, but 
As you know, he's sending the crib right now. You know, a lot of this lately. A lot of people were in that 3-4 lately and just sending absolutely everybody. But the good news about that, you guys could see this defense. If we weren't targeting Mike Evans every play, we'd have a first every single time. Hey, all right, just for video purposes, I, I know this is Mike Evans' gameplay, but I just want to show you guys what I could do literally every single play. It's very boring, but when people play like this, that's all you have to do. Literally every single play, I can call the same exact play. I'll show you it back to back right here. See, it looks like he's not blitzing this time. He didn't bring all the linebackers up. There we go. We finally get him off of it. And Mike Evans is going to get a wide open play again. I'm really just opening up the rest of it. That's why we take our check downs. I know it's the same quote unquote play. He's only really ran one play in defense. But Mike Evans is wide open once again. Just got to open it up with that Gronk every time, man. All right, let's go for the tie right here. We need something on the board. At least something, right? And I think RB is going to get open. Let's go Tyreek, the old team of the week from week one. All right, in the past Madden, I always knew how to guard this. So we, we have a zero over there. We have two zeros. Actually, we're going to do it on the other side now as well. So we have a zero over there on the field. And then obviously, we're going to guard it with our user too. Let's see. The zero should fight all the way through. Okay, so I, I actually don't know how to guard the play when I'm telling my guy that there's a route coming his way. Kind of crazy, eh? There's nothing worse than watching a bad scheme like work, you know what I mean? Because this is a scheme that's always easily bagged in previous Maddens, but hey, we got him in a fourth and three. I'm, I'm not going to be surprised if he goes right back onto it, though. All right, here we go, boys. All the way down, he is going to run the ball. He's running an RPO in Cromartie. I'm sorry, I got to sell you a little bit on him. Let's go backwards. Let's get Mike Evans another touchdown. I'm telling you, once we get a stop on this scheme, he's got to be forced out of it. I think this game is basically over at this point. I think it's just too tough to play Madden that way, man. You're just reliant on just one play. It's just really, really tough. Let's see Mike Evans in a little bit of a zig route action. See, that's where he probably would struggle the most is the zig route. But at the end of the day, it still ended up working. He has 84 short earning, but when it's against a user or zone, it's not bad, I guess. See, as you guys could see, every single play, like I said, you could just really throw the flat. And actually, it looks like Mike Evans on the sideline on the corner out, wide open for his third touchdown. I was not expecting him to get open at all. I really wasn't, but I'll take it. That's another route on the same kind of play, but flipped. Look at Mike Evans. Already three on the board. He has over 100 yards already for sure. What a great, what a gameplay, man. Kind of a stressful one on defense, but the offense is definitely going off. I'm just going for the two-point conversions because why not? And Mike Evans is going to find himself open again. He is completely taking over the game, man. All right, so he's back in that same formation that he ended up throwing an interception in on the previous drive. Let's see if he goes ahead and keeps on running the same exact play because I'm feeling confident right now. It looks like he's actually drawing up a normal passing play this time. Let's see what he has for us. We have everything bagged. We need some pressure, but no, he's going to throw it to Sean T. I'm getting sturdy on him. I'm sorry, boys. I got to be a little toxic this game. The way he played was kind of, you know... A little, I mean, the onside start, you know, come on, I had to. I honestly respect the play style, though. I used to do, like, the same stuff when I first started. I was a gun monster guy for a little bit as well. So I, I respect it. I really do. I mean, I, honestly, some people might hate the way I play as well. I think that's just how it is. Let's see if we can go ahead and calculate a bomb over here. Mike Evans lit up, and I threw a pick forcing the ball. What am I doing, boys? What am I doing? Boys, he did end up scoring right there. Like I said, I don't think you guys want to eat right in the same play every single time. It's just... That play might be one of the hardest plays in Madden history to stop. Straight up. It might be. But it looks like Mike wide open Evans again. I'm going to run that play until he stops it. It'd be the dumbest thing. It'd be a terrible. I'd be an awful Madden player if I didn't run until he stops it, right? I would be terrible. That's what he's doing to me on offense. I don't know. Let's see if we can go ahead and get something going. And it looks like Mike Evans, he does not want to guard him. He does not want to guard Mike, dude. What is up with this guy? Now he's running the corner out on the right side like he scored last drive. Let's see. Maybe we can go ahead and get that open over here on the sideline. Mike Evans with a big hold, too. Let's go, man. You guys can see I kind of clocking the game a little bit right here. Because if we kick three, I'm feeling very, very confident in this game, even with all of his timeouts. Let's see if we have a chance at a touchdown maybe down here. Not a touchdown, but Mike Evans, another big grab. Let's go ahead and spike this ball real quick. Ah, uh, We're going to kick three. We're going to kick three here, boys. And boys, just like that, we get an interception. Now leading by 11 points in the second half. Yeah, I think one more touchdown will definitely end this one off. Oh, boys, he is still sitting in the same exact defense. Maybe if we just max protect. There, hey, surely he has to guard him once, right? Always on the D line. This is perfect case scenario. And Mike Evans through the gap. Not through the gap, but at least we get the hold right here, man. I know it probably is repetitive, but we've gotten a couple other plays. Let's see if we can go ahead and score on the zig route now. This is what we want to see from our guy, Mike Evans. And Mike Evans on the zig. Come on, swerve in. Oh, I tried to journal. You guys saw. I tried to cock it in. He has 212 yards right now. 212 yards, three touchdowns. Maybe we can make that four, and maybe one is going to be on the ground right here with Mr. Mike Evans. Uh-oh, I did not mean to do that. 
I'm not gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I thought I was gonna get hit in the backfield. I probably could have journaled in right there. Yeah, I don't know. It's really tough to score down here. It is very, very hard to score. And just kidding. We have Gronk wide open. And that's definitely going to be the game right there, man. GG's. Hey boys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. I had a lot of fun. Mike Evans, over 212 yards, three total touchdowns. One of the best wide receivers in the game. As you guys can see, he is basically Calvin Johnson. A little bit worse in the short running, but he does hit that 90, which is really nice in the medium. I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay, though. Mike Evans is truly him, a top three receiver in this game, undoubtedly. I don't know if I'd put him at one or two, but probably sitting in that top three regardless. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, boys.